Welcome to our tutorial about repeats. Repeats are a great way to repeat an event over and over. For example, you can take a short loop or phrase and repeat it for the duration of your project. That's how you can, for example, create your own drum loop. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to repeat an audio event. It's really simple. Let's begin by changing to bars and beats view, and I'm going to close the transport panel to free up some room too. I've got a short event in my window right now. It's about four and a half bars long. And this is a drum phrase that I'm going to repeat in this lesson. Let's zoom back out. Let's return to zero. Activate what's called cycle playback by clicking this button here. It's blue when it's active. With this button active, playback will loop over and over the range that's in between the locators. Let's press play. And see how we cycled around? This lets me listen to how seamless the beginning and end are together. If there's an issue, I might need to go down to the sample level to make some edits or trim a little. Let's select the event and press Shift G. Let's stop playback. The event sounds a little bit off when we cycle it through. Let's stretch it out a bit. Select the event again. Press Shift G on the keyboard. And let's stop playback. That sounded better. We'll zoom out a little bit. Now what we're going to do is repeat this event. With the event selected and the object selection tool active, go to the edit menu and select repeat. The repeat events dialog window opens. Here we select the number of times we want the event to repeat. We can click the arrows, scroll your mouse wheel, or just enter a value here manually. Let's enter 8. Shared copies. If you check shared copies, this means the copies will refer to the original event. And if you make changes to the original event, like editing or processing, all the copies will be modified. This can save you a lot of time. Let's click OK. And as you see, the copies are placed right after the original event. Now we have nine instances of this event. They are placed consecutively without any breaks in between them. Let's have a listen. And let's stop our playback. Zoom full. Now let's say I want to make a change to one copy, but not to all the instances of the event that I've copied here. What I'm going to do is select and delete the copy that I want to modify. Now let me position the cursor where I want to place the new copy. And I'll do a standard copy function. I'll select the event to be copied, and then Alt or Option drag and drop it, or the Edit, Copy and Paste functions. And let's have a listen to make sure the transition between these two events is good. First deactivate cycle playback, position the cursor, and play. Let's stop playback. It's just a little bit late coming in. Let me drag up the event a little when I zoom in tight. Zoom back out. Position the cursor and play again. And let's stop our playback. Zoom to full. Now any modifications that I make to this copy won't be propagated to the other instances of this event. And this concludes our lesson about the repeat tool.